Good afternoon. It's Friday. The weekend is here. <laughs> um, okay, so here we are on the topic of people pleasing. And why I wanted to talk about this was because I was having a conversation with my one of my very best girlfriends uh, last week. Um, I had an agonizing decision to make and I had made my decision and I needed help with how to move forward um, in letting everybody know and I just needed some advice. <laughs> I needed a, a bouncing off place of somebody else who isn't, you know, you know, a second pair of ears to hear and um, she's just the best person to do that with. Um, so anyway, out of that conversation, um, she had said two things to me that really struck something in me, and one of which was, you can't please everybody all the time. And yeah, that's 100% what I do. I I do, I, I guess I am a people pleaser. I try to make everybody around me happy. Uh, so much so that I put them before my own needs and it's very damaging. And this is why I struggle um, and get anxious about things. I'm worrying too much about um, how they're going to accept me and what I'm doing in my life. And I was just very afraid of just moving forward with it all. Um, and then second thing she had said to me was, you know, when you're doing that, you're really giving up your power to somebody else. And yeah, that's totally true as well. Um, so I'm putting too much into how I'm affecting other people before my own needs. Um, you know, so like I said, I, I had this I have a life-changing decision to make. I've made the decision, and I'm very anxious and worried about how others are going to perceive that, and I guess I worry that they'll think of it as a big negative instead of being happy for me, and I don't, I don't want to lose friendships, you know, um, and I don't want to upset people, but you know, I, I do need to move forward um, in my life. So, with that being said, <laughs> um, being brought to light about people pleasing, I, I became very curious about that and, and where that might come from and why I do that and how do I stop it. Um, because, yes, I can, I can completely see now how far back in my life from childhood this started and why um, pretty much stems from uh, my parents' divorce when I was nine um, and moving out of my house at a very young age and, you know, fortunately had great people to support me um, and then moving forward, you know, into uh, relationships with my coworkers and my jobs and then dictating how I should do my job instead of, you know, going to, you know, the boss per se on how things should be done. So that became, you know, damaging in my um, employment circle. And then even moving forward when I opened my own business, uh, allowing my customers to dictate how I ran my business. I was very thoughtful in <clears throat> creating my business so much so that they shouldn't have had questions. They should have had 100% trust in me. And so when somebody did try to dictate how that was to look for them um, instead of, you know, hey, saying, well, this is how it is, and, you know, if we're not a fit, we're not a fit, it's okay to move forward. I uh, kind of took offense to it and it tried to do whatever they wanted me to do, um, and it just made me crazy. It made me anxious. It made me you know, afraid to lose business, um, and that isn't how a business should be run, you know, sometimes it's just not a fit for a customer, and 
they do need to move on somewhere else. And, you know, I did find that that particular customer was a very selfish person in their personal life. Um, and so, you know, I was glad when I finally put my foot down, but it was, it was almost a year later that, you know, I dealt with all this nervousness and anxiety and just put myself through hell and it was, it, it wasn't needed. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, going back to my, my parents, uh, divorce, I think I was looking for approval of where I fit in my family and I started, you know, overcompensating by wanting to please my mom and dad all the time, <clears throat> make them happy. And even, uh, with a family that had taken me in when I was a teenager, you know, making sure I didn't ruffle any feathers there and, um, and then moving on to my friendship, um, you know, trying to make everybody happy, do, 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 do for everybody that I possibly could who was around me just so that I felt I had people around me who loved me. Um, and come to find later that so was not the case, that I was just being used and that was very hurtful and damaging. Um, and it's just a terrible feeling, you know. So, yeah, I just was attracted to looking for approval by doing for people whatever it is that I could do. And it, it's just, it's not a good way, good way to live. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> now I know. Now I'm aware. I, I have to say, I think I've been aware for a couple of years and had taken some small steps, but never really saw it as clearly as giving up my power. Um, and I don't mean that to sound like it's coming from an arrogant place. Um, but I just wasn't checking in with myself and learning to be by myself because I've never been by myself ever. Ever have I been by myself. I've always had somebody there to support me, whether it was a healthy relationship or not. There was always somebody there. And I've never learned to be 100% on my own and learn to like, even like myself. And I can tell you today, I still have a hard time with liking myself and loving myself for who I am. And I know that is a fault. And I'm working on it. Um, it's just a work in progress, I guess. And, you know, we all have faults. It's okay. And I love mistakes. And I love to hear things about myself. And I like to use them to grow. Um, so I definitely will be doing much less people-pleasing. Um, because it, it really has sunk its teeth into... Uh, you know, how it affects my marriage and how it affects um, my home life and me personally as a person. Like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I, I think last year I was done. I, I asked a lot of people out of my life, unfortunately. I still love them, um, and I'm grateful for the experiences I've had with them. doesn't mean I don't love them or I can't love them. I absolutely can. I just cannot continue to have people talking the talk behind my back and me trying to do damage control with their thoughts and how they think I should be doing things and how they think I should be running things. Like, this is my life, and I hope this doesn't sound angry because it's not really coming from an angry place. Um, but, yeah, I definitely will stop trying to go above and beyond and at least think about why I'm doing this for this person and think about what is their agenda for me because, yeah, that had come to light, you know, and letting these friends go that they had agendas for me that were very unhealthy. They were using me. Um, <clears throat> and so, yeah, so this was very, very interesting to learn um, and I'm grateful for it. 
and I'm going to post the video below. Um, I like the TED Talks. I don't know if any of you have ever heard them. I'll put the link below in the one that I found. It may end up being in the comments because I'm having an issue with YouTube today. This is my eighth take on this. Uh, but it's a guy who, you know, talks about people pleasing and where um, it had come from in his life and how he's dealing with it. Uh, it's about seven minutes long, not long at all. Um, okay, so that's that. I I hope you found some interest in it. I don't know. <laughs> if you did, thumbs it up. Um, my next video, I will talk about the decision that I had made, um, what had led up to it, and the angst and torture. <laughs> but there are a few people that I still need to get in touch with um, and have a talk with about it. Um, because I don't want to be throwing it out on YouTube before they even hear. Um, and that's not a people-pleasing thing. It's just being a good friend. Um, I would certainly one, not want to find out this way on YouTube. Um, but, yeah, my decision, the anxiety behind my decision was that they, they wouldn't like me anymore. Uh, they would hate me. They would think bad things. Um, but I, I hope they understand. And if, if they are my true friends, um, even in a business relationship um, or friendship, they, they, they should understand. And they, they can either be happy or just not be there. So that's fine. Either way, <laughs> um, I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Um, okay, so that's all I got today. So definitely we'll let the cat out of the bag next video next week um, on what's up and coming. And I also want to work on doing frozen, made ahead frozen food uh, dinners. So, okay. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. It's beautiful here. Um, very nice weather. We're probably going to go up to uh, the mountains and camp and quad. I haven't been up there in a while. <laughs> We had to go <clears throat> move our camper, but that's all moved up there now. So take the boys and go have a relaxing weekend, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend too. Bye.